So today we are going to work on a flying griffin project. So let us just have a look. How to change the backdrop and also how to change the sprites costume and how to add a music for our projects okay so basically um, points 2 and point 3 i have already explained in the previous project so this will be a revision for today's class and the new concept which i'm going to introduce today is how to change the backdrop okay if you are first time in the scratch you can see the link in the description box below so this is my id just right click here and go to my stuff okay so if you write if you just click the new project it will just create a new project so click the new project So here I am in the project page right now. So my first thing will be to select a sprite character for this project. Okay, I'm going to delete the cat and let's go on the right hand side bottom and this is the choose sprite option. So just click that and now you are in the sprite library okay so i'm looking for a sprite which having a costume of flying what do i mean by that so each sprite character is having associated costumes say for example if i just put my mouse pointer in the bat you can see the bat is flying right similarly if i go here in the beer walking so i know that the costumes associated with the beer is walking similarly i'm looking for any sprite character which will be having any flying costumes so the butterfly is also flying so you have so many other options you can see cat flying and all and here is the dinosaur flying you also have some options like you know dove is also flying so what i'm going to do i'm going to select the griffin for my project okay so i'm just selecting this okay so the first task is done selecting the sprite character now if you want to resize it you can do it just click here and you can change the size i don't want it to be 100 percent so i want it to be maybe you know 80 percent so just click and now we can see uh, the size has been reduced okay so the next task is to change to select the backdrops for the project okay so for today's project we are going to learn how to change the backdrop so we have to select multiple backdrops for our project okay so on the right hand side bottom you have the option called choose backdrop okay this is the uh, rightmost option in the bottom which is choose backdrop just click that and now you are having all the backdrop option here you can select multiple backdrops from here one by one um, I'm looking for any outdoors backdrop so what I'm going to select first I'm going to select the farm okay so one backdrop I have selected, if I want to select multiple, just go back to the backdrop library and select. So second one, I'm going to select maybe this. Okay. And also I want to have few more backdrops. Okay. So the third backdrop I'm going to select is maybe the mountain. Okay. This is my third backdrop and let me just have one more backdrop so okay i'm going to select the desert backdrop okay so now 
second task was to select backdrop and I have already selected. Now how can you confirm or verify that the multiple backdrops has been selected for your project? In order to do that, what you have to do, just click this and then go to the paint option. Okay, so if you click the paint, so on the left hand side, you can see that all the backdrops are available. Okay, but by default, the backdrop is white until or unless you select any backdrop. Okay, but I don't want any white backdrop, so I want to just delete this okay deleting the first white backdrop and i think i have the last one also a white backdrop i'm going to delete that as well and here is the four backdrop which i have selected for my project okay oh, fine so from backdrop i'm just going back to the code so once you're back to the code, what you have to do, just go here and click the sprite because so far we were in the backdrop option. Let's go back to the sprite. Okay, so my two task is done. Next, I have to start with the coding. Okay. So today, the new concept which we are going to introduce is how to change the backdrop. So for that, if you go to the looks option, okay, go to the looks um, block and inside look, let me just zoom in. Inside the looks, you have the option called switch backdrop and also the next backdrop, okay. So these are the two blocks which we will be using today for our project in order to change the backdrop now in the switch backdrop it is showing um desert which is my current backdrop now if you want to mention you want to switch to any particular backdrop just right click here and you can select all the backdrops which you have selected previously and you can make the sequence of occurrence or changing the backdrop so if i want maybe farm and just right click so you can see the backdrop has been switched to farm similarly if you want maybe mountain so just click and you can see okay it has been changed so in order to change the backdrop multiple times you can do you can use either of these two blocks okay either switch backdrop or you can use the next backdrop what is the difference both works very similar in the switch backdrop you can specify the occurrence of the backdrops okay so the first backdrop and the second backdrop likewise you can specify switch first to this backdrop and then to this particular backdrop and then this one and so on but in the next backdrop option what happens is it changes as per the order you have already selected so which means uh, if you just uh, you know go to the backdrop option you can see my first backdrop is farm second is hayfield third is mountain and fourth is desert so you can if you are going for the next backdrop it will get you know change in this order itself okay so this is the extra one I'm deleting okay so that is the difference between switch backdrop and the next backdrop so just click here okay so before i change the backdrop what i want is i have to first code for the griffin to move okay so for that let's go to the motion block first okay so in order to make a movement what i want i want to select the move 10 steps option now if you want you can either increase or decrease the value you can maybe select 20 or you can even go for 5 anything is fine you can just change it i'm just going for the 10 backdrops sorry 10 steps okay the next step is very important which is to make sure that your sprite is always inside your screen it is not going beyond the 
screen boundary okay so in order to do that what you have to do just go to the you know motion block and if you go bottom uh, you can see that if on edge then bounce okay so this option will help you to make sure that your sprite sprite character is always inside your screen it is not going beyond the boundary okay so let me just add this to block together and if i click now you can see that it is moving and one it's on edge it is just bouncing okay so very much fine so i don't want uh, it to you know manually execute so in order to automate what you have to do if you want to automate that then just go to the control block and uh, you can use either forever or you can go for the repeat block okay so here what i'm going to do i'm going to select the forever block okay and let me put this to block inside forever and if i click now so now you can see that the sprite is moving back and forth and once it is on the edge it is just going to bounce okay fine so next to that what i want is you know so far it is just going back and forth it doesn't look like it's actually flying so uh, if you go to the costume here let us see what are the costumes it is having just go to the costume and you can see these are the different costumes uh, the griffin is having so if i can just change the costumes uh, it will look like that it is actually flying right So after movement, um, the second task is, you know, I have to make uh, that griffin to change the costume. So in order to change costume, go to the looks block. Okay. So inside looks block, you have the option here called next costume. So in a previous, uh, you know, tutorial video, I have also explained about the next costume and the switch costume so if you haven't seen that uh, you can just have a look in the previous video as well so i'm just going to use the next costume and if i just put the next costume here inside the forever you can see now it looks very much like it's flying but you know it's too fast i just want to add a little bit of delay so in order to add a little bit delay go to the control block and here you have the first weight block so you can add a delay for any second you want i want to have maybe for you know 0.2 second so just add it here and remember that you know uh, the forever is a loop so whatever blocks you are putting inside it will get executed a sequential order again and again okay so now you can see that it is you know looking like it's flying but um, it's a little slow so I'm just going to change maybe to 0.1 and it is fine for me now okay fine so I'm done uh, with flying portions and okay also you can do one thing so now you can see it is just moving you know back and forth right in the straight line along the straight line it is just moving if you want to change it to any angle you can also do that so just go to the motion block and you can also mention you know turn 15 degree or clockwise or anti-clockwise direction i'm just going to get the turn clockwise 15 degree if you want you can change to any degree you know maybe 30 50 45 whatever you want and i will show you what will happen now so now you can see that it is moving um, in the screen in different different angles so that's what i wanted instead of all the time moving back and forth in the straight line it can go in any angle throughout the screen okay and also i want to introduce i'm to show you uh, you have the option of the you know rotation style so this is also inside the motion block you can also select the rotation style here and if you just right click 
you can see the options is left to right download sorry don't rotate and all around you can select any of this i'm just going for left to right rotation so fine so my first part is done which is the flying block okay so creating a block which will make my sprite to fly here and there fine so next what i have to do i am going to create a code in order to change the backdrop okay so for changing backdrop uh, let's go to the looks and here we are having that you know switch backdrop and the next backdrop you can use either of this in case of switch backdrop every time you have drops is getting changed so okay this looks fine so what i want uh, i want it to automate okay i don't want it to click every time by myself instead of that i just want automatically change the backdrop so you can add the next backdrop in two ways one is to put the next backdrop here inside the existing forever block okay or else you can create a separate block only for changing the backdrops i will suggest to have a separate block for changing backdrops so let's go to the control block and um, you can get either repeat or forever so i'm just going to get the forever block in order to automate okay in order to loop the next backdrop option so i'm just going to use the next backdrop to change the backdrops okay now uh what will happen you know if i just click this block the backdrop will get changed so fast because there is no delay right so let's see Oh my god it's changing so fast right so i don't want that uh i want to put some condition when to change the backdrop so uh you can do two ways one is you can add a specific time of delay so you can mention maybe you know wait for one second and then change the backdrop and uh, let's see now okay it is waiting for one second and then changing the backdrop okay uh, you can change the value maybe you know, one two three whatever you want you can just change accordingly and it will work as per that okay and the second way is you can also mention that once a sprite is on age i want it to change the backdrop so in order to do that let's go on the left hand side which is the sensing block okay click the sensing block and the first option is touching mouse pointer just drag this block here and if you just right click you know you can see that touching mouse pointer or edge so you can put a condition like if touching edge then you can change the backdrop so in order to put the condition you have to go to the control block here and in the control block you have the option called if then okay so if then block is used in order to check the condition so you can put if touching edge then uh, you can just use the next backdrop okay so you can put this two blocks over here okay so you can use either of this way put the condition to change the backdrop either just to have a delay and change the backdrop or you can also mention like if touching edge then change the backdrop okay so i'm just going to use a, a simple delay for this project i really don't want to put the condition of you know just touching edge and then change the backdrop so i'm just going to delete this one and i have added the event uh, using the green flag so the event will help you to synchronize multiple blocks execution so in order to add an event go on the left hand side to the events block and the first one is when the green flag is clicked so basically i have used this one for this project you can also use you know when space key is pressed in order to give an input from your keyboard you can control the uh, execution of your program from your keyboard itself 
So for this project, I have used the green flag. So what will happen, you know, once I click the green flag, this block and this block will get executed parallelly. So which means when the griffin is flying, at the same time, uh, the backdrop also will get changed after every three seconds. Okay. So the last portion I'm left with is to add a sound for the project. So in order to do that, go here in the sound block, just click sound option. And in order to add sound, just choose sound option, click there. And you can select any sound as per your choice. I'm just going to the loops option. And here I'm searching for uh, a sound called emotional piano. Uh, you can go for any sound option. I can select. It is not mandatory that you have to use the same sound block. So once you click on the sound block, it will automatically get added to the list uh, of your selected sound. So let's go back to the code now. So after selecting the sound, now you have to put the block to play the sound. So I always suggest that, you know, so playing the sound, always try to create a separate block for that. In order to do that, just go to the sound block and the first option is play sound emotional piano until done. And I want this uh, sound to get repeated uh, until uh, unless I stop the program okay so for that I'm just going to the control block and selecting one forever option and inside the forever block the play sound option okay so it will be playing in a loop and in order to synchronize with the other two event I'm also going to uh, add an event for the sound block so that what will happen at the same time and uh, these three blocks will get executed okay so let's do the testing now um, so just click the green flag and see Okay, so that is exactly what I wanted. And uh, so, you know, before leaving, we have to save our project. So just go to the to project title here and give a proper title. And after giving the title, just go to the file option and click save now. So if you save, your project will get saved and let's go to the project page here and in the project page, you can give the instruction for users to notify how to start the project. So I have mentioned click the green flag to start the project. Okay. You can also uh, give some notes and credits. Okay. And um, so that was all about today's project. I will also share my project link in the description box below. You can use this project as a reference and you can look into the code and you can build your own code. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.